In this lesson, we're going to finish off our Funky Groove project. I've loaded the second version into ACID Pro, and I'm going to press play from start so we can get a feel for what we've created. Get a funky sounding guitar to begin things with a tambourine. Now some bells and a little synth action. Then we get into the main sound. I'm actually going to add some more bells there. And now for the hard rock guitar. Kind of jarring, but I think it really goes well with the song. These bells symbolize a change in what's coming. So they go off and you know kind of intuitively that something different is going to happen. So what I like to do is refine and refine and refine. We've got our original core group of loops. We added more loops. We put them on the timeline in a kind of a pleasing order. We have a beginning, a middle, and an end to this loop. We've got different sounds, contrasting sounds, and complementary sounds. But we're not really done. What we need to do is make sure they sound pleasing together. We're not distorting anything. We've got the right gain and we're panning to kind of bring out specific sounds. So let's open up the mixer, give ourselves a little room, and press play from start again. What I'm looking for here is to make sure I'm not redlining. Okay, so let's give ourselves a little more space. I'm going to turn on loop playback. You'll find that working in Aston Pro means listening to what you're doing an awful lot. I listen to things over and over and over and over again for different things. You can't listen for everything at once. So here I'm just looking at my levels to make sure I'm not maxing out. Because if you go above zero, for example, let's um, let's raise our hard rock guitar here. See how I'm maxing out there? That's bad. Let's take it back to minus 6 dB. Okay, so essentially I've confirmed that nothing is redlining here. Now what I want to do, can I just make sure within each track I'm getting the right sound out of it. So let's loop specific sections. What I'm listening for here is the tambourine and the funky wah guitar. Can I hear the tambourine enough? Do I need to turn that up or do I need to turn the guitar down? Let's turn the tambourine up a little bit. You can drag your slider here or you can double click on the DB readout and enter a reading. Let's call it minus three. If you double click on the volume slider, it takes it to zero. Okay, that's a good balance right there. Minus two for the tambourine and minus six for the guitar. Now I'm always going to take keep a lookout on my master bus down here just to make sure I'm not going over. And now I'm going to let the progress continue a little bit. See what the synths are and the bells. I could probably go down on the synths or the bells, excuse me. Let's go down to minus nine. They really stand out, so they don't need to be as loud. There, that's a good subtle effect. I like the synth, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to just isolate this section right here. A lot of times here, what I will do too is solo a particular track and then combine it with another so I can hear them together. And then turn that back off so I'm listening to all. Let's listen to these three alone. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. Now we're going to finish things out. Again, is the guitar too loud? Can you hear everything else? I hear the tambourine. Let's turn our guitar down. So it doesn't completely overpower everything. 
Might even try minus 12. I'm kind of a whole number person. I like working in increments of minus 3 and plus 3. Don't get too wrapped up into that. You can use your sliders here and get odd numbers if you like. All right. I think that works. Now, very quickly, I'm going to introduce one other kind of concept here to help things pop out. If you double-click this uh, scroll bar, by the way, you can minimize your tracks and see them better. Let's look at our panning. A lot of times you'll find that if you pan an instrument to the left or right, it's going to pop out a little bit more in the overall playback. So let's pan our funky wah guitar to the left. Offset that with the hard rock guitar to the right by about the same degree, about 20 degrees either way. Now, in the main center of the song here, I'm going to pop these 10 degrees left, 10 right, and then give this one 5 degrees left, 5 degrees right. Okay, now play. If you listen to this on headphones especially, you'll be able to tell that the sounds are coming from a distinct point in space. If you offset things a little bit, it really brings them out. And so I think we can wrap this lesson up. We've basically created a really interesting sounding song with a beginning, a middle, and end. It's got interesting effects. And we've offset, and we've changed our volume, and it's really just ready to keep going in Sony Acid Pro.